today I am talking about the first 2019 release that I have seen and that is Escape Room. But before I give my full thoughts, let me know down in the comment section what you guys thought of this movie. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did it fall right in the middle? We know the history of January movies. They are not the greatest, but just join me down in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of this movie. And now we are just going to go ahead and get started here, starting off with what the heck this movie is about. After several contestants are entered to play in the brand new Escape Room to win $10,000, they find out as the game goes on that it is real and that they don't escape the room they will die. So there's the basic synopsis for you and now we're gonna hop right into what was good about this movie. So what I really enjoyed about this movie was that it was just flat out entertaining. Nothing out of the ordinary, it was just honestly entertaining when they're trying to escape the rooms. Some were more intense than others, you weren't really on the edge of your seat, but you were like, you know what? I wasn't bored. It really kind of had my attention, not fully, but it had my attention for the most part throughout the whole movie. And I was like, you know what? I was, it, honestly, it was a big surprise for me. I went in with very low expectations and it kind of caught me by surprise that I was so invested in this movie. Also, the main character, his name's Ben, he's one of the people in the escape room. He also played the movie Love, Simon, and he was my favorite part of this movie. He was the best actor. All the other actors kind of fell in his shadow. He did a really, really good job. This movie had a couple jokes in there. Most didn't land, but they had a couple. Also, they, they had parts in this movie where they would kind of give backstories on the people in the room. So we kind of got a little bit, know a little bit more about them. And I was like, okay, I'm actually kind of invested in these characters. I kind of actually give a crap about where they come from, what their story is and I thought the director did a very good job with that and as the movie progressed into each escape room we kind of start finding things in there that are related to the people and start finding out that the people were actually chosen for a reason to be in here and the, the reason for it I'm not gonna say it but it was honestly kind of like whoa okay kind of caught me by surprise a little bit and I was like you know what this movie's much better than I thought it was gonna be. It's a January movie. I thought it was gonna be complete buns, but it wasn't. I was like, you know what? I'm invested. I'm entertained. And you know what? They have a couple of jokes in here that work, and the acting isn't that terrible. And god dang it, I'm invested in this movie. But that's all I really gotta say about the good in this movie. Now we're heading into the negative side. <laughs> I would say the biggest problem I have with this movie is it's kind of a nitpick, but the first 30 seconds they give away who survives through all the escape rooms. He's by himself, so I'm guessing everyone else has died, and it made me just mad. I was like, why are we doing this movies now? Why do we start the movie off with when we can find out the end? It'll be much better at the end. We know the same thing happened in Bird Box. It kind of we know who's gonna die and who's gonna live. Why are we doing that? Why are we gonna get rid of these characters? So soon in the movie, we know, okay, they're just gonna die, and this is an inevitable now, we know they're going, but why are they doing it to us in the beginning of the movie? That's a big problem to my girlfriend. Well, yeah, now we can leave. We don't need to see this anymore, because we know who lives. There's obviously more to it after that, but when it leads up to that point, I could've just led up to the point and showed in the beginning. It wanted to start off in 10, start with a big bang. It kind of did, but it gave away too much, in my opinion. Also, there was this character, his name was Jason. He was an ass, and he wasn't just like an ass ass, he was an ass. Like, he was just mean, man. Every time he could, he would just say something to me, and they start calling out in the movie. I'm like, why are you like that? Like, it was just, it honestly just bothered me how much of an ass he was. I was like, dude, get out of here. Sit down before you hurt yourself, because you're making me angry. Also, towards the end of the movie, when it kind of tries to have this big twist, big reveal, they had one earlier before this, but to this one point, I think they wanted to have a big mind boggle on people, and it didn't have that effect on me or my girlfriend. I was kind of just like, okay, that's it. I that's what I felt. I wanted to be on and be like, whoa, but I wasn't like that. I wasn't like that at all. I was kind of just like, okay, and set the movie up for a sequel. And I don't really need to see a sequel, and I honestly don't want to see a sequel. And they're gonna get a sequel, but the way the movie ended, me and my girlfriend kind of looked at each other like. I don't want to sit through this for an hour and a half. I have some questions, but if they never get answers, then oh well. But with that being said, this movie, like I said, was not terrible. I was entertained, and therefore it earns a 6 out of 10. That is exactly what this movie is. 6 out of 10, entertaining at its best. But if you haven't done so already, make sure to comment down below what you thought of Escape Room. Go ahead and hit that big thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. Go see a movie, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!